What I plan to do with this study is uh, I, I'd like us to all have a chance to read the text over the next eight weeks that we have together. You can read it eight times if you want, once every week, the whole thing, but I, I want us to actually really get familiar with the text. I want us to get familiar with the people in the text, in the stories. I want us to get familiar with the ideas. And uh, I think um, discover once again, something we've discovered already in our learning, uh, something about the theology of these, uh, the texts in Acts, something about the ideas that are prominent and proclaimed by the, the writer of Acts. Acts is really more like a novel in, than any other, any other New Testament book. Um, if you uh, read it, uh, you end up having speeches, you have sermons, you have events like Pentecost, you have scenes in jail and jails opened up by the Spirit, you have Paul being beaten and thrown out of the city, you have trials before kings and rulers, you have all kinds of things. So it kind of reads like a novel and if you, I, I would guess that if you got a hold of something like this Good News for Modern Man, which is an old Bible Society translation, or some of the more contemporary paraphrases, it would read even more like a novel. I think Acts is something, one of the books we hear read in our Sunday sermons, but we, in our Sunday lectionary, but it's not one that we're that familiar with. We, we get more familiar with the stories we hear from the Gospels over and over again. Um, the feeding of the 5,000, the healing events, the, the confrontations and what have you. But in Acts, we we probably don't have we haven't spent that much time looking at it as individuals unless you're one of those rare birds that has spent a fair amount of time in all of these texts so i'd like us to get more familiar with acts and that's part of the goal of this 